Behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch. Now, there's a number of problems right here that make it impossible this is Christ. Christ is hardly just a servant of God. We've always assumed that he's a servant because we assumed he was the branch. No, 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 he's the vine. In fact, we're about to read that again in a minute. But if you think Christ is the, is the branch, and I'm going to destroy that and show you amazing things, you will have Christ ruling in this year. If you don't have him properly as the messenger of the covenant or the angel of the Lord or the stone with seven eyes and the branch being brought forth, and as all the other verses say, you will not get this right. You're as wrong as believing the kingdom of God starts with the millennium. And there's only the seventh king, never mind, you know, nothing about a sixth or an eighth king. Now this is going to take on unbelievable proportion. But he is called my servant. My servant, the branch. David is called in at least three or four places, I think maybe five, my servant David. I know of no place where Christ is just simply called a servant. That reduces him. He's the vine. All the branches come off. To reduce him to a branch is, but we didn't, we didn't understand because of the Jews thinking, which I'll come to later. Isaiah 11 and verse 1. <clears throat> <clears throat> there shall come forth or go out a rod, a twig, a twig out of the stem of Jesse. Now, that it's, it's telling you that this man is descended from David. He has to be. He's going to be associated with David's throne. <clears throat> and a branch, that's a nature, and it means a shoot or a descendant of Jesse shall grow out of his roots. Jesse's roots. Now, what's that saying? Who are Jesse's roots? Well, you don't have to go very far. Go down to verse 10. And in that day, after the first year is described in verses 2 through 9, and in that day there shall be a root of Jesse. So who's the root of Jesse? Christ, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles sing, uh, seek, and his rest shall be glorious. So in verse 1, you have a shoot, a branch, coming out of the root, coming out of Christ. Christ is the root of Jesse. Christ created Jesse. Jesse didn't create Christ. Now, this twig is a descendant of Jesse and David, and I am, but I shoot out of the root of Jesse. Verse 10 tells you that's Christ. So it's saying this branch came straight out of the vine. But no one ever saw that, and I've read it I don't know how many times. We still have a lot more to read. 